Oh, hello. I want to talk to you today about chemistry. Every day, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, chemistry is all around you. Everything you eat, everything you do, chemistry is everywhere. So we're going to look at today some examples throughout the day where you might encounter chemistry and you don't even know it. Chemistry. Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about when you wake up. Hopefully, maybe you wash your face or take a shower, and hopefully you use soap. Well, congratulations, because you are encountering a reaction. You see, soap is the product of a fatty acid and a strong base. When they react, they create soap and a byproduct. Soap has two ends, one's polar and one's nonpolar. The polar end likes water and sticks with the water. The other end likes dirt. Dirt is nonpolar and so is the nonpolar end of the soap, so they stick together. It surrounds the dirt and lifts it away. Thus, a chemical reaction. Chemistry! The next major chemical change you might experience in your day is cooking breakfast. Is that an egg you might be cooking? Well, if so, it's a major chemical change. The proteins in an egg are usually all balled up and by themselves. But when you heat it, they start expanding. The big, long proteins hit each other and bond in all kinds of different places. Eventually, they all bond together into a big, solid, opaque mass. Chemistry! Maybe, when you put cream in your coffee, you've noticed that the cream somehow seems to stir around without you stirring it. This is because of Brownian motion. You see, the particles in a liquid, the molecules, are constantly moving around. This movement is increased by heat, like hot coffee. So, when you put the cream in there, all the coffee molecules moving around move the cream around, and eventually it evenly distributes throughout the cup of coffee. A perfectly made cup of coffee, thanks to chemistry. Heating food up in the microwave involves chemical principle. Microwaves are waves in the electro electromagnetic spectrum with a lower frequency than the visible light. When they hit the food, the polarized molecules, mainly waters and fats, get excited and heat up. The result? Super fast heating. But don't put metal in the microwave or you might get high energy sparks and or fire. Chemistry. When it's time to go out, starting your car involves a chemical reaction. Gas is a mixture of hydrocarbons, that is, carbons and hydrogens together in a molecule. When the gasoline reacts with the oxygen, the simple thermodynamic reaction is very exothermic. The negative change in enthalpy drives your car engine and makes your car go. Chemistry. Chemistry! Have you ever wondered what goes on in the famous Diet Coke and Mentos experiment? Well, chemistry happens. Soda is a supersaturated solution of carbon dioxide and water. The carbon dioxide wants to escape, but it needs to break the surface tension of the water. It also needs to form bubbles, which requires a rough surface. The Mentos both break the surface tension and provide a rough surface for the bubbles to form on. But this doesn't explain totally the whole explosion. The added chemicals in Diet Coke, aspartame, benzoate, and other things add to the explosive properties, but no one can figure out really why this happens totally. But whatever the reason is, the result is a huge explosion, thanks to chemistry. I can really go for some Mentos right now. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Chemistry. <laughs> Chemistry. Everyone's used a glow stick once in their lives. It may just seem like a fun toy, but there's a lot of chemistry going on. When you break the inside of a glow stick, two chemicals rush together to create light. One is hydrogen peroxide on the outside and inside the container that you break is a phosphorescent dye. 
When the two react, the energy created excites the dye, and to de-excite, it emits a photon. Thus, light. Chemistry. Chemistry. Boiling water is a physical change. As you heat the molecules of water, their vapor pressure increases. That's the pressure of them pushing up on the atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure is the pressure of the air pushing down on the molecules of water. When you heat the water molecules enough, their vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. At that point, the water boils, and the water turns into a gas form or a vapor. Therefore, the state change is a physical change. Chemistry. There are many chemical principles involved with an electric guitar. First of all, the magnetic field created by the pickups is disrupted by the metal strings, creating a flow of electricity. The electricity flows through the pickups and wires through the cable into the amp, which creates sound. The electrons can flow, of course, because of the metallic bonding structure of the metal in the pickups and the wire that allows for free-flowing electrons through its crystalline structure. Sound by chemistry. Yay, chemistry!